Hi, I'm Tiffany. Today, I'm going to show you how to multiply and divide with fractions and mixed numbers. Multiplying and dividing mixed numbers. When multiplying mixed numbers, you want to make both numbers into improper fractions, then multiply like normal. For dividing mixed numbers, you want to make both numbers like improper fractions, then divide, remembering to keep it, change it, flip it. Here's example number one. We need to make these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So we're going to multiply here, add here, and go in a clockwise direction. Five times one is five. Five plus three is eight. Eight becomes my new numerator and five remains my denominator. Now I'm gonna multiply that by whatever this improper fraction will be. Four times two is eight. 8 plus 3 is 11. My denominator remains 4. Now, the really good thing about multiplying fractions is you do not need to get a common denominator. You multiply straight across. You multiply your numerators together and then your denominators together. So 8 times 11 is 88. Then 5 times 4 is 20. Now I need to divide here to get a mixed number because right now my numerator is larger than my denominator. So I'm going to divide 20 into 88. 20 goes into 88 4 times, which is 80. Now I subtract and I get 8. The way you write your answer is in the order that you got your numbers here. You wrote down the 4 first and it becomes your whole number. The 8 is your numerator because it's the remainder or how much you had left over. And 20 is your denominator. It remains the same. It was already 20. I could have really done this in my head, but I wanted to work it out so you understood how we got there. But 20 goes into 88 four times. I know that 20 would go into 80, not 88, so there would be a difference of 8. That's my numerator, and my denominator remains the same. So if you understand what you're doing, you can do all of that step in your head without actually having to do the division. Now I need to simplify the fraction portion. The 4, my whole number, it remains the same but my 8 and my 20 can be simplified. 4 can go into both 8 and 20, so 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. My answer is 4 and 2 fifths. Let's move on to example number 2. Example number 2, I need to get improper fractions again, meaning I need to convert this. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. My numerator for example number 1 is 7, my denominator is 2. I need to multiply that by the improper fraction that I get over here. 9 times 4 is 36, 36 plus 2 is 38. 38 is my numerator, 9 is my denominator. Now it's time to multiply straight across. 7 times 38 is 266, and 2 times 9 is 18. This is an improper fraction, so for my answer I need to make it into a mixed number. That means I need to divide again. This one's a little more tricky, so I'm actually going to divide it. I'm going to divide my 18 into 266. I don't know what this is off the top of my head. 18 goes into 26 one time, and it is 18. I'm going to subtract, and I get 8. Bring down my 6. 18 goes into 86 four times, and it's 72. When I subtract, I get 14. 
I have nothing left to bring down, so that means this will be my numerator. So this is my top number. Then I whoop and swoop down here, and I end here with my 18. So 14 is my whole number. 14 is also my numerator. And 18 is my denominator. Now my answer can be simplified. My whole number 14 remains the same. And then I just figure out something that can go into both 14 and 18. 2 can go into both 14 and 18 because they're even. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So the answer to example number 2 is 14 and 7 ninths. Let's move on to example number three. Example number three. It's time for me to make these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Seven times five is 35. 35 plus two is 37. The denominator remains seven. I'm gonna multiply that by whatever I have over here. 4 times 6 is 24, 24 plus 1 is 25. Now I need to multiply straight across. 925 is my numerator and my denominator is 28. Now if I divide 28 into 925 I get 33 with the remainder of 1. So that means my answer is 33 and 1 28. That's the answer for example number 3. Let's move on to example number 4. Example number 4. This time we're working with division. When we're working with division there's something we need to keep in mind. We need to remember to keep it change it and flip it. I like to write these numbers directly on top of my fraction so that I don't forget what to do with each problem. Before I can keep it, change it, flip it, I need to fix these numbers so they're in a form that works for me. Right now I'm going to make them improper fractions just like I did with the multiplication examples. Multiply here and add here. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 is my numerator, 4 is my denominator. Over here I have 6 times 1 which gives me 6 and then 6 plus 5 gives me 11. 11 over 6. Now what we need to do is keep it, change it, flip it. Keep it means keep this fraction the same. 11 over 4 change means change the sign to multiplication instead of division and flip means make your last number the reciprocal of itself the reciprocal means you switch the position of your numerator and denominator that means instead of 11 over 6 I'm gonna have 6 over 11 so now what I've done really is set all of this up to give us a regular old multiplication problem so really you never actually divide fractions, you only multiply them. When you see a division sign, just keep that in mind to remind you that you need to correctly set up your problem for multiplication. 11 times 6 is 66. 4 times 11 is 44. Now I need to divide here, and I'm going to get... 1 and 22 over 44. Twenty two over forty four can be simplified to one half. So this answer is the same as one and one half. Let's move on to example number five. Example number five. Multiply here, add here. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. 
9 times 4 is 36. 36 plus 7 is 43. Denominator remains the same. And if you remember, we are keeping it, changing it, and flipping it. This number remains the same because we want to keep it the same. We want to change this to a multiplication sign and we want to flip this to 9 over 43. Now we're going to multiply straight across. 7 times 9 is 63. 2 times 43 is 86. So your answer to example number 5 is 63 over 86. Let's move on to example number six. Let's make this improper fraction. 15 times five is 75. 75 plus two is 77. And that goes over 15. Ten times six is 60. 60 plus three is 63. You put that over 10. Remember, we want to keep it, change it, flip it. So we are keeping my first fraction the same, changing the sign to multiplication from the original division sign, and flip the last fraction to its reciprocal. 77 times 10 is 770. The denominator is 945. I can simplify 770 by 5 as well as 945, so I'm going to simplify. To get a little more room, I've just cleared the slide but rewritten the answer that we had at our last point. We have 770 over 945. 5 can go into both of these. And now I'm still able to simplify my fraction by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 7. So after simplifying by 7, I end up getting 22 over 27. So the answer to example number 6 is 22 over 27. That's my last example. Thanks for watching.